information and to spiritual and religious teachings that cover up the real truth rather than expose it. By taking up the esoteric teaching, you can hear the truth for the first time. Uh, the truth about what really happened on this planet and why things are so bad. Why the civilization and the government is destroying the environment. Why the economic uh, policies are adjusted to exploit individuals rather than to free them. I remember when I was a kid in the uh, 50s, uh, reading magazines that uh, when we have more advanced production facilities uh, based on robots and computers and stuff like this, people will only have to work uh, four hours a day to produce the same economic results uh, that we have today by working eight or ten hours a day. So this will uh, lead to increased leisure time for everyone. And it's true. Uh, robotics and advanced manufacturing techniques have led to an increase in production. But are we working less? No, we're working more. The people who run the economic system have uh, made sure that uh, we don't have more free time. We have less. In fact, uh, most households, the uh, mother has to go to work and leave the kids in the care of minimum wage uh, uh, daycare people. Uh, so the, the people who get hurt are the children. The children are brought up by people who have no real interest in their well-being and often may have a real interest in exploiting them. And, and so on and so forth. You can see so many examples in this society of how the people are simply being exploited more and more. And this trend will continue in the future unless a significant fraction of the population says, okay, we're not putting up with this anymore. Uh, we're going to take a different choice. We're going to go back to the original way of life that was uh, advised in the esoteric teaching. And we've done this, at least to a certain extent, in the communities that my spiritual master established back in the 70s. How many uh, communes or farm communities established during the back to the land movements of the 60s and 70s are still going and not too many the failure rate approaches 100 percent however our communities established in that same time frame are still strong and growing what's the difference well the communities based on the esoteric teaching have a real core of an esoteric school and the entire activities of the community are simply based on helping us to practice the esoteric teaching, to learn the ancient ways of the Vedic civilization, and to teach them to others. And because we have help from spiritual sources, uh, things go smoothly. For example, during Hurricane Katrina, we were right in the path of the eye. And uh, communities around us experienced significant damage from the storm. But even though we're situated right on a ridgetop, we did okay. Uh, there was some damage, but it was just minor. So how can you explain this? The people from FEMA were scratching their heads. Wait a minute, everybody around you like lost their houses and trailers and their uh, trees down on their cars and stuff, and you guys are okay? What happened? What happened is we're protected. We have supernatural protection because we're engaged in the activities of the esoteric teaching. You can believe this or, or not. Uh, just like the Vedic history. The Vedic history actually explains uh, how things got to be so messed up on this uh, little planet. Uh, how come the leaders seem to be the people of the worst character and uh, people of good character can't seem to get anywhere? And why is this? And uh, how have we gone down the slippery slope so far towards a hellish condition of life? Well, it's not accidental. Uh, it was engineered that way. Uh, it's been uh, thousands of years of demonic leadership on this planet due to the failure of the Vedic Empire. And, of course, this was due to the effects of Kali Yuga. Now, the interesting thing is, 
we're coming up on a period of Kali Yuga where those effects are minimized. Therefore, uh, it will be possible during the next few years to turn things around. So uh, we are here with the real truth about the spiritual nature of human beings and how to implement that truth so that we can have a society based on spiritual realization once again. Uh, this will stop the rape of the earth and the exploitation of her people, and it will correct the not only the environmental imbalances, but the social and economic imbalances and injustices that have been prevalent on this planet for the last 5,000 years. So if you want the truth, if you can hear the truth, uh, I remember a funny story. One time I was in Hawaii at a friend's shop and uh, I had brought uh, a book that I wrote for him to read. And the name of the book is Search for the Absolute Truth. And it's a book on Vedanta, uh, the first uh, sutra of Vedanta, Athato Brahma Jigyasa, which means now let us search for the absolute truth. Let us inquire into the absolute truth. So there was one girl working in his office and saw the book, didn't know that it was mine or that I had brought it. And she picked it up and looked at it and said, Now, who would want to know the absolute truth? And I looked at her and I said, Anybody but an idiot. So basically, people who have sold themselves out to the demoniac civilization don't want to know the absolute truth. But any intelligent person who really wants to benefit themselves uh, by their short stay on this planet uh, does want to know the absolute truth. And the absolute truth is given in the Vedic literatures. Like I said, all of the predictions given in the esoteric teaching uh, since the Vedic age have actually panned out, just as described in the scriptures. Not only that, if you try these spiritual practices, you will see that they work exactly as described in the Vedic literatures. So, these scriptures have not been edited. They haven't been changed. There is an elaborate system of safeguards to prevent it. And, you know, we don't care if you want to take up uh, this esoteric teaching or not. We're fine. We have no interest. We don't make any money or anything. If you take up this teaching, it's up to you, and it's your benefit. But it's simply our duty to present this teaching to you, to the whole world, so that you have the choice. Otherwise, you don't have a choice. Really, whether or not to take up this esoteric teaching is the only real choice you may have in life. Everything else is more or less a consequence of your being in association with a demoniac society, a society gone mad with power and lust, with material consciousness, unrestricted by any spiritual teachings. So because you are in touch with that uh, perverted consciousness, uh, you are forced to go along with so many things that are contrary to the real nature of the human soul. We say, you don't have to stay in this association. You can have the association of the esoteric teaching, and you can form a group in your local area to practice the esoteric teaching and create a new association, a different association based on real spiritual principles, based on self-realization, and based on finding and recovering your original spiritual perfect body.
We hope you've enjoyed this edition of My Perfect Body. This is David Hughes, your host, reminding you to visit us on the web at esotericteaching.org, where you can purchase the complete Esoteric Teaching Introductory Seminar DVD and many CDs of transcendental music and mantras.